Hi, DCT Makes here. How are you guys doing? Um, I've had a couple of people ask about the um, governor modification that I did on the 670 um, for my Cushman. Um, you want pictures of that? Just go back and look at the um, bypass governor video in the um, playlist. But the governor always seems complicated for everybody and it and it relatively simple but explaining it doesn't seem to work very often so i'll give it a shot um let's just talk about it like an engine being purchased for uh, straight off the shelf 670 with a governor for a mower or a um, stump grinding machine or um um, a chipper shredder something like that something that requires um, the revs to be retained at a certain level without you there's no foot pedal for an accelerator so you move an arm okay so here, let's start okay so we have the handle on the mower that you move backwards and forwards from idle to full throttle and anywhere in between. Now, when you look at the mechanics of this, here's our carburetor, here's our butterfly in the carburetor, and you, your head would go that there's a link between the arm of the throttle and you're moving it forward and moving that butterfly directly. Well, not really. You have the governor in between That is linked to, so there's a linkage from the throttle to the governor. And then on the governor, down inside the engine, there is a rod that goes through the case. So here's the rod coming through the case. There's an arm with a paddle on the end. And then on the end of the cam, there's a wheel that goes around and two weights with a sometimes a pocket in the ball bearing in the center but these weights can sling outwards and as they sling outwards they push on this paddle rotate the shaft turning the governor arm and then affecting the throttle now how, what's the effect so you jump on your mower you put the throttle all the way over to start. Let's just forget choke for now. Imagine the mower's warm. All the way over to full. And that full would be theoretically, let's say 3600 RPM. Now, be careful here. No load, basically. So you push it forward, start the mower. This first part's a little tiny bit tricky. When you push that forward, you think, well, you're pushing that. Well, you're not really. What you're doing is you're allowing this to be able to move based on how fast this little paddle, you know, how fast these weights are being pushed apart, pushing this arm and rotating this shaft. So moving or pushing in which direction the other end of the governor arm. So, push it all the way forward, start the engine. It's now allowing the governor to get the engine to 3600 RPM. So, what happens is these weights coming apart. So, you turn, it starts. The arm of the governor moves. It's allowed to move. It's not pushing it. It's allowing it to move now. Comes across here, goes at full whack, pushes the butterfly open. Engine starts, everything's going, 3,600 RPM, no load. And this all settles out. So throttle over, governor's push forwards, opens the butterfly. Butterfly opens, lets the gas through, air through, mixture, psh, bang, off goes the engine, 3,600 RPM. No load at this point, so 3,600 RPM. Then 
you what's the next thing you do you put it in gear and then what are you doing you're introducing a load you're going to put your body weight the mower weight and the engine's going to have to accomplish moving that so here we are at 3600 rpm and you slam it into gear and start moving you introduce a load there's immediate detraction of that rev count basically because you're introducing a load so what happens is the governor now because it starts to slow down because you've introduced a load the governor is trying to desperately keep this speed that you set of where you set that arm where you're allowing the governor to move to that's a big point of this it's allowing the governor to move the throttle not pushing it big difference so up you're driving and you hear the engine come back up and the engine comes back up and tries to accomplish this 3600 rpm again so you're driving along next thing you do on the mower is what you switch on the deck bang another load now we're not cutting grass at this point just switching on the deck introduces another load the engine revs go down governors you, you you introduce a load here it's using more energy basically let's just call it energy more energy required and uh, governor's like oh wait a second you've given it all this load to, i've got to i've got to pull you back up to that rev count pulls it back up you start now you're moving you're moving your weight the mower weight you're moving forwards all these loads are being overtaken and trying to keep the rev count back up to 3600 wherever you set this throttle on your dashboard up to then you start cutting grass wet grass and you introduce another load and the same thing happens the governor all the governor is doing is to desperately try and keep the revs of where you've set the throttle on the mower is trying to keep regardless of load that rev count at where you've set it at so basically this is idle this is full throttle and you can vary in between obviously most mowers you put on full throttle go to cut you're going to have at least three load patterns on it to get to the point where you start cutting grass but the whole point of the governor is to try and regardless of load keep you at the rev count that you're supposed to be something else though it's also a maximum rev the movement of this arm moving the throttle that distance theoretically through that radius uh, arc that it's moving through on that radius is very small amount it's like um like that that's about all the governor moves and if you equate that to how far the butterfly moves it's about well it's not about it is it's the same amount but how far it goes is delimited by how far this travels where this where the bolt on the governor is set so this is all set up specifically with all the springs and stuff to not allow you to go past 3600 rpm so that's basically the governor in with regards to on a mower well if you go back and look at my video i don't i don't want that i want my foot to be the governor i use using the scenario like a go-kart but okay so what do we want what we want is what i did is i took the governor arm and i moved it out like 90 degrees and i put it out here so it's not in the way still on the shaft it's still going down to the it's still going down to the uh, weights on the end of the cam as, the, as they sling out and push against the paddle still rotating but all i did was put a spring on it to the to actually to one of the chassis members um part of the cradle and there's a spring there so when the engine is turning against that shaft it's turning against this spring it's just pulling against this spring my theorem there is it's not allowing these weights that are rotating and being slung out 
the whole point is if you go above 3600 rpm you can eventually blow this up so these parts go off hit the bottom of the get down into the bottom of the piston in the um on the crank side and they just explode in here just bang so now i want my foot to be so instead of on your mower moving this arm backwards and forwards and just leaving it i want my foot on a pedal when i push down i want to be able to pull the throttle with my foot so before this throttle was being pushed open <clears throat> at the bottom it was being pushed at the bottom to actually physically open the butterfly by the governor shaft well now I'm actually pulling it from the top that way and I have a spring going here just to the body just to the body of the, of the uh, engine not a governor just a spring so it returns but now the throttle is being pulled by my foot being pressed in an arc now again the distance didn't change this movement here is like that much that's it there's like a there's a, like an arc of like three quarters of an inch from idle to full throttle so the problem is here now I took away the governing 3600 so if I mess with the carburetor and more fuel and I can you know get it to work theoretically I am going to put the engine up over 3600 rpm so what I, you can do here is I've delimited the, moment, the, the travel on the pedal to keep the revs at a manageable level where they should be for that particular engine. Or I delimit the amount of travel on the throttle butterfly with a little screw that I can turn in and out. Like the idle screw but on the other side for highest uh, revs on the engine so that's what I did that was my theorem behind you could take the engine apart and remove the governor assembly again if you do that you're you know replacing gasket seals um, time you know whereas with this I'm putting the spring on the governor moving it out the way so when the engines acting on it here it doesn't try to explode the bottom end and this has worked I mean um, before I delimited this I had it uh, pretty much well over 3600 rpm but the whole mechanic of all of this was when I was using the pedal with the governor in it would actually it was terrible you would go to change gear the governor would react to the load coming off so it would theoretically there would be no load so it would actually drop the revs and all of a sudden the and i put it back in gear and it would reintroduce the load and i put my foot back on the pedal and it would stumble and it would have to catch up so it was like really bad now my foot like in the car you don't have that same quite the same thing in the car but i put my foot on the gas and when i take my foot off it closes the throttle when i put my foot on it opens it so the big part is here delimiting the actual how much gas and the revs by delimiting the travel of the pedal and and or the travel of the butterfly these are obviously in relationship to each other in terms of how far they're moving there's a cable between on mine there's a cable between the foot pedal and you can see that in the video and the and the throttle blade actuating arm um that's it if you got any questions give me a shout but uh, this part's probably the, the, the hardest part is understanding you're not actually pushing the, th the governor. You're now allowing the governor to move when you move this forwards because the hand throttle on your mower is attached to the governor, not to the actual throttle of the carburetor directly.
Hey, give me a shout, talk about it. See you guys later. DC Team Makes out. Bye.